All right, guys, welcome back to Pilates Strong. I'm trying to get better at posting more regularly. We're gonna do some upper body band workouts. So grab a set of bands, put them over your wrists, and just kind of hold open. It's actually not on my wrist, it's more on my forearm. And you're just gonna hold it open here, and we're just gonna kind of breathe. We're gonna take our time to warm up the shoulders. So this exercise is called newspaper, okay? It's an exercise we do in Pilates all the time. I love it. Okay, and you're gonna slowly close and slowly open. Um, now, I had some pretty major hand surgery recently from an accident that I had which required a little bit of rewiring of my left hand. And so I'm just kind of playing with how this feels on my wrist relative to my hand. I can tell you it's a little bit painful because it's right on my scar. Uh, so if you have issues with your hands, one thing I can tell you is if you need to go up higher, go up higher, right? That's an option. We're gonna go to the holding, uh, the hands holding position here in a second. Um, and the reason I bring this up is because some of you guys have issues with your hands and so if that's you, play around with where the band goes on your forearm. Three, two. Now, take the band and grab it like this, okay? I'm having, uh, it's really weird to do these movements uh, so soon. I'm only about four months after my surgery. And um, I can tell you that it's been a bit of a struggle to get the strength back in my left hand. Um, but these are great exercises for, for the rotator cuff and for building back that upper body strength. Um, keep going, we're gonna go for about 20 more seconds here. Now let's talk about bands for a second. So there's all these different bands that uh, people can buy. There's no standardization of the bands. One brand is different than another. So at any point in time, if something becomes too heavy, uh, just switch out your band to something lighter. I like to grab bands that have longer loops versus shorter loops. Now hold it here, and you're gonna do these little pulses, 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 three, two, and then release. So you should feel a nice warm up through there. If you're feeling it in your neck and shoulders, that means you're probably tensing up. Do not tense up, okay? So now from here, I'm gonna have you guys grab that band again. We're gonna do a thigh stretch exercise, just pil uh, traditional Pilates. We're just gonna add a little bit of arm movement to this. You're gonna sit, ni uh, kneel nice and tall, okay? You're gonna lean back, hold, pull back in. So we're just adding a little bit of uh, thigh stretch, glute warm up, and you're still working your arms here, okay? Back and then forwards. Now the key here, guys, is when you go back, we're not like going like this and we're not going like this. We're trying to stay in a nice long line. If your knees bother you and you cannot do this, all you're gonna do here, guys, is just hold and open and then close, okay? That's your modification. Otherwise, I want you to go into the thigh stretch. You're gonna open that band as you go back, close it as you come up. Inhale, go back. You're gonna feel your lats turn on. You should feel all this lovely stuff here and your shoulders, right? Good, and bring it back up. I had this crazy butt workout yesterday, so my butt is so sore. My knees are about hip width apart. If you need to go wider, you can. Okay, make sure that you're not going in your low back and just really pull open that band and pull it up. You should feel your core engage here, your arms. Good, keep going, four, three, two. Now hold, and little presses out. 10, nine, eight. You're gonna start to feel that heat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. All right, so the next exercise is one of my favorites with the band. Okay, you can go back to your kneeling position. Your left hand can hold right here. Your right hand's gonna be here. You're gonna press the band down. You're gonna feel your tricep engage and bring it back up, okay? So I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see. You're gonna press down, shoulders back and up. Make sure when you're doing these, God, I see a lot of that happening. That looks so bad for the shoulder, guys. So pull the shoulder back, tall spine, and down and up. Imagine that you're, I don't know, can I, gonna be in a magazine so you gotta have good form. I don't know, I don't know. Whatever motivates you, right? Down and up to keep that good posture. Down and up. So I love this because you've got this nice static hold with the biceps on one hand, and you've got your tricep pressing down and up. Now on this one, I probably could go a little heavier, but because I'm still recovering from my hand surgery, I'm gonna take a little bit easy today and keep building up. Good, we're gonna go down and up. And what you should feel, guys, is as you press, you'll notice that the band is kind of on the pinky side more, so I can feel the outer edge of my hand a little bit. And I can feel that connection through the back side of my arm. You're still, oh boy, you got itches. You're still gonna feel your shoulder here a little bit. But again, we're not up in here, okay? Keep going. Down and up. This first part's fairly easy, I would say. Three, two, now you're gonna hold this right arm down, okay? And you're gonna stay there and you're gonna bicep curl this arm down and up. Now, why I like this exercise is because the band is getting pulled by the right hand, I'm really able to sort of like feel the outer bicep here right, because I'm working not just up and down, but keeping the band open, right? So go down and up, bicep curl, 
tall spine, really pulling. Good, keep going. We're gonna go for about 30 more seconds here, down and up. Yeah, this uh, hand thing really, big bummer. Big, big bummer, especially given that this is what I do for a living. Uh, keep going, down and up, but you know, gotta get, gotta get over it. Good, you got about 15 seconds. I love this one. For me, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of my uh, back of my shoulder, like the back, like the back of my armpit. Oh my God, I can't talk. And um, in my bicep, three, two. Now you're gonna hold right here, okay? You're gonna press this arm out, to, left arm to the side, right arm out and back to center. So pressing out and in, and you should feel your back muscles engage, those muscles right by your spine as you do this. I like the asymmetry here of being able to abduct my right arm and my left arm in a different way, right? One arm is straight, one arm is bent. If this bothers you, just take a break. Four, three, woo, two, do you guys feel that? And last one, give me one more, and then let's switch. So now the right arm is gonna go up, left arm is gonna go down, and we're gonna pull down and up. So this is one of those like exercises where it seems kind of easy at first, and then you start getting into it, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. You'll notice I just changed my grip, and I'm gonna show you something. So this grip with the palm down on the left hand, or a palm facing my side. It's gonna probably get into my tricep a little bit more. This is a little bit more the back and like the back of the armpit. So depending on what you wanna work on, pick your position, okay? We're gonna go for about 40 more seconds here. Just focusing on the form. The whole time the right arm is working because it's holding that static hold, right? And you guys are gonna start to feel that your arms are getting really tired. So if you need to change bands here, go for it. It's kind of funny, a lot of times people especially when I used to teach the classes, like they would grab the heavy band because it does feel easy at first. And then like 20 seconds later, they're like, oh my God, okay, no way, we gotta change the band. And, um, and it's kind of cool, right? Because we're, we're able to really uh, fine tune our uh, form by using lighter weight, going higher rep, so that we're in good form the whole time versus going heavy and like straining and like pushing down and doing weird stuff. Three, two, hold it right there, okay? Now from here, you're gonna go down and up with that bicep, good. You're gonna really focus on that tricep of the left arm holding down. Again, as my right arm goes down and up, I could feel the tension of it trying to get pulled that way, but I'm not letting it, I'm keeping it out. Bicep curling down and up, pulling the shoulders back, nice and tall spine here. I'm gonna just curl up. Make sure when you're uh, lifting up that your palm on this one is, I mean, you could do it this way. I like this way a little bit more. So I could feel more of my, the belly of my bicep, but everyone's different. So if you feel it more the other way, go for it. Shoulder is back. Good, and if you feel anything weird in your rotator cuff, probably means that you have too heavy of a band. Go down and up, down and up. Good, squeeze that bicep. I'm really working here, guys. It's not easy, this is hard stuff. Good, up and down. You guys feel that burn? I'm feeling it big time. But now we're gonna press out, woo, and in and out and in. So the left arm is really coming away from my side. The right arm is simply doing a little bit of a rotator cuff uh, abduction, okay? So my elbow stays by my side. You're gonna feel those back muscles. You got about 20 seconds here, and then we get to move on. I'm feeling this burn big time. We're gonna end up on our back. We're gonna do a little bit of core work with some abs, which is some of my favorite stuff. Keep going, you got about eight seconds, maybe a little less than that. Good, keep going, five, four, three, two, Woo! You guys, feel the shoulders, feel those arms. I love these exercises. All right, so sit on down. You're gonna take your band and put it on your left foot, okay? I'm gonna underhand grip, and in fact, you know what I'll do is I'm gonna turn on this foot so you guys can see better. <clears throat> you're gonna grab the handle here. You're gonna lay down. I might end up on my bands, but that's okay. And you're gonna end up with your leg up, okay? You're gonna lift the chest up. Right hand is behind the head. Left arm has the band. You're gonna bicep curl. In and out. Now what's cool about this is your foot's supported by the band, so you're not gonna get into your hip flexors here, which is really nice. You can also control the tension of the band by lowering the leg down and up. I'm kind of locking my arm into my side here, and I'm just doing this nice bicep curl. We're gonna add it, we're gonna add movement of the upper body in a second. Keep your left leg still, out and in. Let's go for 20 more seconds, and then we're gonna add the abdominals here. Keep going, in and out. Good, you got about mm, 10 seconds. Keep going, pull this down. Five seconds, four, three, two, now hold. 
Now check this out. You're gonna bicep curl, chest up, and head all the way down, arm all the way long. All the way up, squeeze, and down. I'm noticing my leg is traveling a little bit. And lift. You should feel your bicep like crazy here. Good, keep going, keep going. Squeeze that bicep, lower down. Squeeze that bicep, lower down. This is my hand that had the repairs. I would say this is probably one of the more comfortable exercises. You got about 10 more seconds. Good, and up, squeeze. Your abs are gonna start to warm, but if you want this a little harder, lift that other leg up, up to you. Four, three, two, now hold. Stay right there and little pulses of the chest up and down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Oh my goodness, you guys should feel that amazingness on that arm, okay? So in between, we're gonna add a Superman. Don't worry, we're gonna do the other side, but I want you guys to feel how this feels with that left side warmed up. All right, so I'm gonna lay on my stomach here, get this guy out of the way. I'm gonna grab my van like this. Now again, if you have hand issues, you can also put it right about there. All right, I'm gonna lay all the way down on my stomach. Okay, reach the arms long. For the first part, guys, just feel the shoulders down the back, slide your arms down the back, and then forwards, and like you're kind of pushing down into the ground here to find like these guys back here, right? Oftentimes when people are in these back extension exercises, they're, they're all messed up, they're all up in here, and eh, just no good, right? We wanna think nice, calm movement. We don't want to overstress ourselves out here. We want to feel the right muscles and feel organized. Three, two, now from here, you're going to retract, lift the arms up, lower the arms down, protract. Retract, arms off, arms down, and back down. So we're just retracting, protracting, you can also call this elevation and depression, right? Depress, lift, lower, and elevate, good. I love these exercises, you guys. You should feel the lap. You should feel your back, but in the nice way, not like your low back. Your low back should not bother you here, especially after that ab warm up. If it does bother you, place a towel uh, underneath your hips, or you can also do this entire thing standing or kneeling. So you're just gonna do the same thing with your arms up in the air. Keep going and reach. Okay, now we're gonna add the lower body. Four, three, two, now you're gonna lift, Superman, and down, okay? Let's make this harder. Open the legs, open the arms, close, go down. Let's do nine more. Lift, open, close, lower. I feel everything in my back in a nice way working. Think about both arms pressing out equally. I think this is seven, am I wrong? No, make me at six. Let's do five more, five. Good, lower, lift, four, Lower, what a great workout, right? We're reaching everything long. Three, open, close, lower. Last two, and then we're gonna flip back around. Open, close, lower. Last one, open, close, lower. That was it, okay, cool. So I had one more. All right, so take your time, guys. You're gonna turn back around. We're gonna get back onto our back. We're gonna put the band on the right arch of the foot and you're gonna lay back down, okay? Bear with me here. So we're gonna be right about there. Leg is long, all the way down, left hand behind the head, my right hand has the band. I'm gonna lower that leg down. And yeah, this is actually a good point. You can always bend the opposite leg here. That's easier for some people on their back. Now just start to bicep curl. I'm gonna start off with my left leg long, and then I'm gonna lift it like I did before, okay? So the first one is just a nice like bicep curl. Nothing to it. Good, keep going, bicep curl. Rocky looks pretty happy there. I'm gonna lower my leg, get a little more tension. This is stronger side here. So it's cool because you're getting this nice relaxation of that hip. You're gonna stretch for the leg, right? And you're trying not to let the leg waver around, right? That's not, we don't want the leg to be doing weird stuff like this. We want it to be nice and strong. Good, keep going. Let's go for about 20 more seconds. Now this is the shoulder that loves to do this on me. So I'm gonna try really hard to keep that shoulder back. Good, keep going, chest is lifted. Remember, we got that ab set coming up. We're gonna add the lower body lift coming up here in a little bit. Keep going. I'm gonna lower that leg down here. I'm actually gonna add, lift the leg up now on the left side, make this harder for me so I can feel my abs more. So I do wanna work out three, two, now hold. Now you're gonna lower the chest down, arm goes straight, and you're gonna pull. And I'm okay, guys, with the elbow 
moving away and coming back down, okay? Good, keep going, in and down. Good, keep going, in and down. I love these movements, guys. And in, my abs are shaking, my bicep is burning. Keep going and pull. Get up there, good, and down. And pull, and down. Three, two, hold, stay right there. Now your chest is gonna lift up and down. I'm gonna lower this leg down a little bit. And up, squeeze, and down. Now this is a really great um, exercise to really get good at hollow back. So if you wanna practice with one arm way back to challenge your neck, you can. And then like when it gets tired, put it back behind. Keep going, because your one leg is out, right? Good, keep going, but it's a very supported hollow back. You got about 15 seconds. I'll try this version. Abs are on fire. Good, keep going. Keep going, we're land our stomach for starfish coming up. Keep going. We got two more exercises. Four, three, two, and then release. Those are so good, you guys, I love them. Okay, so we're gonna flip back around. We're gonna, we're gonna do our uh, starfish. So for this one, I am gonna grab a little bit of a heavier band and put it around my ankles. You can totally do this without the band, but I'm gonna add the band because I want a little bit of work. So <clears throat> ankles are gonna be harder. If you have a really heavy band, it's gonna be so hard on the ankles. I would just say put it up on your thighs if that's the case. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put two bands on, why not? Because I kind of want to get a nice little abduction. I'm gonna put the heavier one on top and the lighter one on the bottom. Here we go, why not? I want to get my workout in too. All right, here we go, oopsies. Hopefully I didn't just mess up my sound. All right, so from here guys, we're gonna do a starfish. Starfish, <clears throat> you're gonna lift your arms and legs up, hold the arms and legs open and close. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. So let's go, timer's running. Open and close, you should feel your butt cheeks, your lateral line, right? Like your sides, all of this stuff here working. <clears throat> Keep going, got about 15 seconds. You get a tiny break coming up. Open and close, open, close, open, close. Everything is working guys, no easy. No easy, this is not easy. Just no easy, keep going, three, two, take a little rest. Those are hard. <clears throat> the second round, you're gonna keep your elbows bent, okay? Same thing, but with the elbows bent, okay? What should I call this? Baby starfish? I don't know. <laughs> Open, close. Open, close. So on this one, you're gonna feel a little more of the, like the lats are gonna be a little stronger of a feel versus your arms totally overhead, which is harder to find. And open and close, keep the chest lifted. Notice that my legs and arms never rest. Keep going and squeeze, I love this. You'll feel all of this stuff working, that side stuff between your ribs and your pelvis that's like so hard to work out. As my clients say, turns into jello, which is really cute, keep going. I don't even know what time we have left, but let's just add 10 seconds, why not? Nine, eight, seven, feel the back, six, five, four, three, two, and then release. Okay, one more round, a little bit different this time, okay? I'm gonna have you guys work on a couple of holds. So you're gonna keep the legs wide, elbows are gonna be right about out to the side like this. We're gonna lift everything up, pull the arms in, squeeze the back, hold it, and then reach the arms back just to that range of motion for the first few. 30 seconds here, in and out. Keeping that tension out, bigger as you pull in, Releasing a little bit as you go out. My legs are constantly holding. I am sweating, you guys. I know you can't see it. Now ready, full range of motion. Exhale, push, bring it in. I'm gonna add 10 seconds. Let's go for 40 seconds. Good. 20 more seconds left here, guys. Chest maybe a little higher, arms up. It's so easy to get lazy and just let the arms go down. Try to get the arms up, down, reach, lower. These are gonna sculpt to you guys. Let me just tell you, five seconds, four, three, two, and then release. Okay, here's the next exercise. This is our last exercise here. And I had to add this in because usually, whenever you do a lot of back extension, you wanna be able to sort of like counter it a little bit um, with some core work. So that's where we're gonna head to next. We're gonna do some elevator planks. Uh, probably leave that out, we'll be fine. So we're gonna work on some elevator planks here. We're gonna end up bringing our knee to our tricep, okay? So here we go. Lifting up, holding your high plank. We're gonna do seven on each side. Elevator plank looks like this. You bring the knee in, drop it down. That's your elevator. We're down on the ground floor, press it up. That's one. Down, slide, 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 press. 
If you want to make this harder, don't touch the arm. Five, a little bit of calisthenics for you guys. And six, keep the butt lifted. Good, seven. How many did I say we're gonna do? Eight, let's just do 10. Am I counting wrong? I don't even know anymore. I'm, everything's burning, guys, I don't even know. Nine, let's just do 10, why not? And press, set it back, other side. Left leg in, down to the ground floor, up to the penthouse, one. So hard to do this when you're like, when you've never done it. Two, and three. And you wanna think when you're pushing, you're really pushing the ground away. Four, that'll help. And push the ground away, five. Get that knee up high, guys. Six, last exercise, you're almost there. Seven, you get a child's pose coming up. Eight, press. Nine, push, come on. 10, lift, three, two. And then child's pose, you guys. What a great like upper body workout, right? We got the band, so simple. They, these weigh nothing. They take up most space in your luggage if you're traveling. Woo! All right, let's have a seat here. Do a little stretch. Bring your left arm, cross it over, just like this. So if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm gonna try to be more consistent. Whew. Shoulder down the back. Good. And then let's switch sides. Bring your arm forwards. But awesome job, you guys.